the sleepy silence of Purvastali is broken from early December every year with the arrival of feathered friends from halfway across the world. The Oxbow Lake, formed from the mighty Ganges, caresses past the villages like Chupi and Kastashali to become home to thousands of migratory birds. The crystal clear waters of the 9 km long channel of the Oxbow Lake and the surrounding fruit orchards and farmlands harbour more than 70 species of local and migratory birds. The Oxbow Lake covers an area of almost 3.5 square kilometers and encloses an islet with three villages. Bird watching in the lake is done in the local country boats. The boatmen there help the guests to spot the birds. This lake has a narrow channel connecting the Ganges and hence has a permanent source of water pouring into the lake. The rich alluvial soil of the Ganges basin and the abundance of rainfall has endowed the Purvastal region with an overdose of greenery. Hence, an intense agriculture is practiced here with crops like maize, rice, corn, mustard, jute, potato and different types of vegetables, fruits, flowers growing throughout the year. There are three modes of transport to Purvastali. By air, Netadi Shubhas Chandra Bose Airport is the nearest air airport which is 130 to 140 km away from Purvastali. By rail, the best way to reach Purvastali is to board the Howrah Katoar local either from Howrah or Shialda railway stations. It will take you around 4 hours to reach Purvastali. From the station area, visitors can hire a toto which is a battery operated rickshaw to reach the lake. The journey will not take more than 15 to 20 minutes. So visitors who love long drives can take the road. The distance between Kolkata and Purvastali is around 130 to 140 kilometers and it will take you around 5 to 6 hours to reach Purvastali. Good morning from Purvastali to Pichor. I am sorry, आप लोग सबके सामने मैं माफी मांगता हूँ। एक महीना हो गया मैंने वीडियो नहीं दिया क्योंकि मेरे पास कोई कंटेंट नहीं था। कंटेंट नहीं रहेगा तो क्या वीडियो डालूँगा? आया हूँ बहुत दिन बाद थोड़ा घूमने। This is called Chupichor, Chupi Purvastali. बर्डिंग के लिए मेनली लोग आते हैं यहाँ पे सामने आपको दिख रहा है मायापुर का मंदिर जो इस्कॉन का टेंपल है वो यहाँ से बहुत ही पास है तो कभी आप अगर मायापुर आते हैं इस्कॉन टेंपल विज़िट करने तो ये जगह भी एक बार विज़िट कर लीजिएगा ये द मंथ ऑफ दिसंबर व्हेन माय सेल्फ एंड माय को ट्रैवलर शायन ट्रैवल्ड टू पूर्वस्थली एंड केम अक्रॉस एंड ऑक्सवो लेक and we were surprised to find a large variety of migratory birds that had made their journey from far off lands like Central Asia, Russia, etc. Heavy hunting and habitat disruption has led to the diseased bird populations and pushed the entire ecosystems towards great danger. Thanks to NGOs like Kashtakali, Banobiti, which was formed by the villagers. They have now been working relentlessly to preserve the biodiversity of this lake area and make the place popular with bird watchers and tourists. Today, Purvastali is one of the most famous 
bird watching sites and tourist destinations in West Bengal. In the Purvasthali Oxbow Lane, you can spot migratory birds like the red crested poachers. Lesser, it upsets me to see how this wonderful place is getting slowly suffocated by human encroachment from all sides. Local farmers do not like the moorhens digging the paddy saplings, so they don't allow them to sit there. The number of birds have dropped drastically. Poachers used to be many more in numbers, now they just come in few hundreds. Still, so it's a very আমরা দেশ ওখানে লেবার লেগেছে ওকে বলা হলো যে তাহলে কিছু করা হোক পঞ্চায়েত থেকে যোগাযোগ করে বলবে যে ওটা নদীয়ার মধ্যে পড়েছে আমরা কিছু করতে পারবো আচ্ছা তাহলে নদীয়ায় মধ্যে যেখানে পড়েছে আপনার আচ্ছা আর পাখির সংখ্যা খুবই কম তো পাখি আরও আসবে হয়তো মনে হচ্ছে একটু ঠান্ডাটা বাড়লে বাড়ে এবার ঠান্ডা নেই বলে আরও পাখিটা কম এসছে আর আপনার আমাদের এখানে বোট চলছে খুবই কম লোকজনের ভিড় খুব কম আচ্ছা অনেক ধরনের সমস্যা এখানে দেখা দিচ্ছে না কিভাবে তোমরা তোমাদের মানে তোমাদের চলতো আমাদের রুজি রোজগার হচ্ছে আপনার লকডাউনে যেরা কেউ আসতো না পর্যটকরা তখন আমরা এই মাছ ধরে কোনো রকম জীবিকাটা চালাতে পারতাম আচ্ছা আর তুমি এই এই লাইনে এই কাজ তুমি কত বছর ধরে করছো আমি এই লাইনে কাজ করছি আপনার বারো থেকে তেরো বছর হবে আচ্ছা I always had huge admiration for poachers and I was anxious to see them, to see their flock together because they are just beautiful water birds. Reading the astonishment on my face at that moment, Majibun said, Sir, you will get a lot of these lesser whistling ducks and poachers also. Don't worry. Let's go for the osprey first. I was amazed to find that Majibul is not only good at birds, but he also reads minds too. Majibul sailed the boat further in search of the osprey on the banks. On the way I saw a bird with a black coat, white beak, white tilak on the forehead, named as common kut, and a little little grab. At about 4 o'clock, we finally spotted that much desired bird, rare, beautiful and sweet bird. Instantly, the winning smile lightened Majibul's face and he raised his index to draw my attention and uttered, Sir, there is the red-crested poacher. We were close enough to them and I took a lot of pictures of them to my full satisfaction. While returning near the shore, I witnessed the first shapes of the twilight colors brushing the sky. The time I landed at another wharf, there's a watchtower on one side of the cart Kasta Shali Banbiti, guest house on the other side, master's fields in the middle spanning as far as my eyes can go. Colored with the last shades of sunset and seeing the home returns of the boatmen, I called it a day and returned to our lodge. We have already planned with Majibul to go to the big Ganges today and to start our expedition at 7 o'clock in the morning because there would be no pictures in the deep. Finally, we left at 8 in the morning. The water was still covered with a thin layer of fog and it looked as if smoke was rising from the water. In the meanwhile, as a startup dish, we spotted small common kingfisher, white kingfisher and some gadwals flying over us. Today, we are heading in the opposite direction from where we went yesterday in search of the ibis. We spotted a few more boats nearby with their passengers sticking their eyes on the viewfinder of their cameras. In this route, we spotted open bill stalks, common poachers, red crested poachers, burned swallows, pheasant and chakanas, white wagtails, and yellow bitterns. After floating for quite some time, we finally fought in the black-headed ibis. Meanwhile, it's now 10.15 am. Majibul took the boat in a narrow creek. So narrow that somehow only one boat can pass through the creek. The trees and the water house on both sides are stumbling on the boat. 
It's like a piece of Amazonia in front of me. Long tail shrikes were peeking from the tall grasses. We went through the creek and came to the main Ganges. The river is quite wide on the side. So, uh, good morning. Good morning from Purvastali. Uh, we came here yesterday. We took a lot of good shots and a lot of bird species. People are very good. The famous sighting is Osprey with Fish Kill. So, one Osprey.